What's up, guys? So, uh, I've been threatening to, um, not really threatening, but a couple people have asked me uh, specifically about um, what are the precise things that I did to adjust my throttle, my on off throttle, so it wasn't as touchy. Um, and I, I wanted to go through and explain um, in very specific detail the cells that I changed and where you can find my image so that you can see what I did uh, and hopefully can help you. So first off, um, the engine braking, and this is the, what I'm about to explain to you is all um, with regards to, is all pertinent to the 2009-2010 R1. And you can at least take this concept, if you don't have that, that, that uh, bike, you can at least take this concept and look at your Flashtune software and see if you can somehow use this concept to help uh, adjust your on-off throttle to make it a little bit more smooth. Um, the on-off throttle and the abruptness of the R1 uh, on-off throttle is pretty dramatic. And it's a combination of the very drastic engine braking and the very, very touchy throttle. So, um, so you know, you can find my... I've opened the Flashtune software um, and you, you'll have to... There's other uh, videos that show you. In fact, my video will show you how to get to this particular uh, window. But what I did was um, went just to, uh, let me just show you how I did it. So um, you open the Flashtune software, you can download the Flashtune software off of uh, ftecu.com um, and you can look at it for free, I believe. I believe that's still capable. Anyway, you go here, you go to File Manager, it brings up this window here. So again, you hit file and then you go to, you hit file and then you, you go to file manager and it brings up this window, okay? And under user shared files, if you scroll down to my email, which is I am uh, the law 11 at Gmail, you can hit me, you can shoot me an email if you want to. Um, click on that and you'll see my image. So we're just gonna go right to that image, okay? Um, and, and whenever you try and pull up a user file share image, you're always going to get this warning, okay? Uh, which is, look, these, this image has not been tested by anybody, so use it with caution. So I'm going to click OK. Um, this particular image has been tested by me, um, so I know it works, at least for my bike. So up here you'll see some notes about what I've done uh, to the bike. Okay, so if you just take this image, or if you just take your image, um, and you don't fool with the TPS versus RPMs, which are um, the, the maps uh, for fueling per cylinder, um, and I talked about this on my other video, the, the Yamaha has an extensive R&D uh, research and development team, and they've gone through, my guess is they've gone through and they have created the specific fueling for each cylinder. Um, so if you look at each cylinder, you will see that the fueling is different per cylinder. Okay, now my fueling is a little bit adjusted and I've explained that I've used Tad's image from the R1 forum. Um, but if you look at the stock fueling maps or the unrestricted fueling maps that come with FTC, um, you will see that the the cylinder, the fueling per cylinder, now what do I mean by fueling? I, so um, when the throttle is at, for example, 6%, 6% of uh, the throttle at 1400 um, RPM, this particular um, this particular engine, which is uh, cylinder one, this particular engine, this particular cylinder, is getting 35% fuel. And if you go through here and you look at all of them, um, each each cylinder is a little bit different. But that's neither here nor there. Don't fool around with if you if you're just wanting to change the smoothness of your throttle and nothing else, um, or and you want to get rid of uh, that that uh, dead spot in the 4,000 to 5,000 um, RPM range. You can do all of that in the throttle by wire settings. Okay, so let's go to my maps. All my adjustments have been made to the standard mode. 
as you know the R1 has three modes it has the standard mode it has the A mode and it has the B mode I have down here you can you can um, default to, to A mode I have my bike default to standard mode so this for me is false okay if you want your bike to default to A mode you can set that to true I have mine default to standard mode because that's where I've made all of my adjustments so um, let's look at what cells you specifically adjust to make your throttle smooth as a baby's bottom okay so um, if you know if you'll notice um, for the 2009 and 2010 r1 versions up here the top portion of these maps all of your throttle maps your throttle by wire maps so this is these are the maps that control what you do when you roll your wrist and how much fuel your engine is or your um, your uh, uh, ECU is delivering to your cylinders okay in percentages so if I'm at 4% um, roll on throttle and and I'm at 2500 RPM my 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 settings are only seeing 2.4 percent um, fuel now you go all the way down here at 14,500 RPMs and hundred percent fuel I'm at a hundred or a hundred percent roll-on um, I'm getting a hundred percent fuel okay to uh, delivered to my four cylinders okay and when you let me just pull up because I, I want you to I'm gonna compare um, file manager I'm gonna compare the stock files so you can see what the difference is between mine uh, and the uh, the stock files so I'm gonna go to since I'm um, a USA uh, citizen uh, I have a USA I'm just gonna pull the USA generic uh, version um, okay so that's opened up so now here is the stock file so I'm gonna go back to the exact same map maps the throttle by wire base maps the standard mode maps and I'm gonna just pick the the, um, the neutral map okay so what is the difference between my maps um, and the neutral maps I'm gonna try and balance these out so dang it so you can see what's what's going on so the first thing that you're gonna notice first thing that you're gonna notice and the difference is your R1 comes stock um, restricted so um, at 12,000 RPMs uh, is it 12,000 let's see yeah basically at 12,000 RPMs um, your engine uh, is seen anything over 12,500 RPMs okay once you get in, once you get into this range, so 12,000 RPMs, 100% throttle, your um, ECU is reducing the amount of uh, fueling that your your engine is seen, uh, your four cylinders are seen, and that's how it comes stock. That's what everybody's complaining about. So you flash your ECU to get rid of this range, okay? Um, let me just bring this up so you can see that I'm at the bottom of the RPM okay so uh, so when you look at my maps so I'm at hundred percent throttle when I'm maxed out at, at my uh, uh, max RPMs okay obviously you don't generally want to max out redline your engine so but at 12,000 RPMs and above my engine is now getting um, a full amount of fuel so how do you adjust now let's get to the meat and bones of this this particular video okay so let's look at the very um, specific differences between um, on off throttle okay so up here is your off throttle um, area so right here let's just take a look this is the stock settings so after 5% when you roll off of your throttle and you're completely at zero um, uh, throttle 
You're at zero throttle. You've completely rolled off. You've taken your hand off the throttle. Your engine, depending on what RPM, let's say you were you were you were rolling really hard and you're at 10,000 RPM and you roll off. Your engine immediately now starts seeing four, a little over four percent fueling, and then it drastically um, decreases. And so, at 6,500 RPM, when you roll off throttle, your engine gets absolutely zero. Uh, engine or zero fuel that's why there's that immediate engine braking that takes place and so and that's why it's so abrupt you roll off throttle and if you're anywhere below 7,000 rpms your engine immediately gets no fuel so whether you're full or whether you have your uh um up here you can disable uh this right here which is disable injection decel cutout okay Set that to true. Um, that's how I have it uh, set on mine, which still will, when if you have it at false, it automatically shuts off fuel. If you have it at true, now it's going to read what's in your uh, fuel mapping. I believe that's how it works. Don't 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 get mad at me if I'm wrong. But I have my mind set at true, which says I'm disabling um, the, the engine injection cutoff, which means that. I'm now going to be reading or getting the fuel that's being delivered in my maps. Okay, so back to the, the, the standard maps. Here we go. So notice how these are all zeros. So this is where and why you're getting that drastic on off throttle. And let's, let's just just as a quick note, what does it do in a mode? See, in a mode, it does the same thing, right? It does the same thing. Now, if you if you if you examine them, you'll notice that the fueling percentages are a little bit more higher here. And here's the dead zone, right? Here's the dead zone that we talked about um, uh, in in the Yamaha R1. That 4,000 to 5,000 dead zone. They have it incorporated in here, so you can get rid of that. Okay. Um, but the difference between the A modes and the standard modes is fueling comes on uh, they add more fueling so for example at 3500 rpm at six percent you're getting 6.8 but here at at six percent and 3500 rpm you're at 5.2 so that's the difference in the a and the standard mode and in the b mode is is a little bit less redu reduced okay so um so in order for you to get rid of that reduction or that abrupt on off throttle, you've got to make some changes to these cells. You have to come in and begin to add fuel so the engine braking isn't as drastic and you have to add fuel here. So when you begin to roll on, it's a smoother transition. It doesn't go from zero, 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 boom to 1.3%. Okay. Um, that's where you get that yerky jerky and i don't know why they've done it but that's this is why and how it's happening so what i've done is i've gone in and i've the other thing that you have to um recognize is that um there is there's there's spaces so it doesn't it's not it's not linear here so it doesn't go from one to two percent to three percent to four percent to five percent to six percent seven it begins skipping it begins skipping so here you miss your ten percent so it goes from nine to eleven percent and then o over here it goes from twelve to fourteen percent and then here it skips three percentage points so it goes from fourteen to seventeen percent so it's not very linear. You don't have a cell for every percentage. So you have to accommodate for that, right? So you have some pretty substantial jumping it from these cells that gets you all the way up to 100%. But let's smooth out the throttle. If you can go in and you can look at how I've adjusted my throttle, and I'm telling you right now, my throttle is very, very smooth. Um, I still have a little bit more power for example, my my 11% um, power or 11% throttle and my 2,000 um, RPM is at 12.5. 12 12 when you come here at 11% um, and and 2,000 RPMs, they're at 11.8.
So I'm a little bit more aggressive in how much fuel my engine is getting as I'm rolling on. Not as aggressive as my A maps, which are Tad's A um standard mode maps his a maps were even more aggressive than my a maps so um when i start to get running on the track and i know i want to be I, i'm able to control power wheelies a little bit better i'll start using his a maps you know um but back to the throttle thing so here's how these are the cells the 0 0.0 1 percent 2 percent 3 percent 4 percent 5 percent um 5%, 6%, these are the cells that you're going to want to adjust in order to smooth out the on throttle so it's not as abrupt, okay? Um, so at 2,000 RPMs at 1%, they've got no fuel. At 2,000 RPMs at 1%, I've got 0.9% fuel. At 2,500 RPMs and 5% um, throttle on, I'm at 36 at 25% over here and 5%, they're at four, okay? So so it's jumping on you. That fuel is jumping on you. And what I'm, what I'm saying is you can smooth it out by changing these cells. Notice here um, how my engine braking, um, I added more fuel in, in my engine braking. So my engine braking isn't as substantial. You know, I, I'm, I got fuel being added all the way down to 2,000 RPMs. They've got no fuel being added. So if you want to get rid of your engine braking, instead of going here and adding, where is it? Let me see if I can find it. Um, it's down here. Instead of, instead of going in here and adding, uh, adding fuel in here, by doing it this way, you have more control by doing it here and you can do it in any gear that you want so you can make engine braking stronger in your first gear and a little bit not as strong in your second gear uh, and third gear which are the gears that you're probably going to be using more in track um, unless you want it so you can make all of those adjustments right here you know but this is where you change the feel of your bike and and these these throttle by wire maps give you some extensive unbelievable control so get in here fiddle around or just grab my image if you have a 2009 r1 and use my maps of my standard mode and see how you like them i hope you like this video i hope it helped you oh let me just show you how do you adjust it how, how do you adjust it so you click on one of these videos you click on one of the cells and then you can go to your plus on your keyboard and add okay and it adds or you can so I just by hitting my plus one time I added one percent of fuel you can go in and you can specifically also type in so I want to add 0.6 percent right so I type in 0.6 and it adds it in okay do you see that and then once you're done hit enter and it'll move to the next cell Okay, if you want to change a bunch of cells, let's say I want to give fuel to all of these cells. I just highlight them all and I point and I hit 0.6 and I adjust all of those. Okay, now I'm not going to change any of these stock cells. So when I exit out, um, I'm going to exit out and uh, not save. Um, well. Wow. Well, when I when I close this map, okay, I'm gonna close and it's gonna ask me to save it, and I'm gonna say no, I don't want to save those changes. Okay, make sure that's the right one. No, I don't want to save those changes. Okay, now the other thing is is you can link these maps if you want to go in and make a change and 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 make those changes to all of these maps. You can hit link and go here and and touch the map and now these two are, are are linked together and you can do that with each one of these and now when you make a change it'll it'll hold true for all of those uh all of these maps okay the other way is once you've making once you've made a change you can right click hit copy and then pick a map and hit paste um, and that's how I, I had been doing it forever 
um, in my changes so anyway um, again you can take a look at my image and you can see um, you can take a look at my notes but this is where you're going to want to make all of your changes uh, to smooth out your throttle I hope this helps um, my name is law have a blessed day